Ant-Man and the Wasp. This movie kind of sucked. I think if anyone uh, tells you that it's like good, they're playing off the Marvel bandwagon. I mean, I'm a big Marvel guy, but I just think this one was not very good. It felt like it was like an Adam Sandler Marvel movie. Uh, the action was alright. Ghost was not a good villain, but they still kind of gave her backstory. So, like, she should be good. She has, like, the pieces to at least be alright, but she still feels pretty boring. Um, and then, the, I mean, I already said the action was okay. Evangeline Lily didn't really have enough to do. Uh, she, I feel like her, I mean, like, or no, that's not true. She had a lot to do, but none of it was really all that, like, big. I don't know. It just felt like, it just, the movie itself felt like, it knew it had to exist, but it didn't really know exactly how to do that. I don't know. You know? Do you get what I'm saying? It's like an Adam Sandler movie. Like, it just had, like, the same, like, tone. Like, I really... Spoilers a little bit. Uh, I really hated the scene, like, where, where Scott and Cassie are riding the cardboard and stuff. Like, that's, that's not real. What kind of parent would actually care enough to do that? Um, and then, uh... I did like the part where he... he Spoilers, where he's like giant and then he passes out. I thought that was really a cool little moment. Um, Janet Van Dyne, the whole thing with her was like kind of, I just thought that was kind of pointless, in my opinion. It just feels like, like that was, wasn't very exciting. And like, I don't know, it, like then the movie ends really abruptly, you know? The final fight is not very exciting. It seems like Ghost could have been more of a threat, but they never really show her off. And the last thing is just Michael Douglas was just so phoned in, which is... Really sad because we know how much he can do. And he also was actually pretty good in the first Ant-Man. So I don't know why he couldn't just be at that level. But some of his lines, like it really felt like he was he was an actor from like a movie you could pick up at 7-Eleven. Like it was bad. It was really bad. And the jokes were just... <laughs> like they were just not good. I don't know. It just... All the jokes just felt like they were too like childish and but also just like I don't there were there were some good ones. There were a couple good ones. Louis Luis had had more good stuff, but like the rest just no oh, thank you. Uh yeah, that's that's Ant Man and the Wasp. I honestly didn't hate it, and I hope it doesn't bomb. I sound like I hate it because I'm mostly talking about negative things. I guess good stuff, Paul Rudd was fine. Uh uh Lawrence Fishburne was all right. He he didn't also didn't have much to do. He could have been a, a more interesting character. I, I'm not saying he should have like been Goliath or whatever. Like there shouldn't have been like a giant fight. But like, I mean, when I say giant, I mean like Bill Foster fighting Scott Lang as giant people. I like I've heard people throw around that idea, but no, I don't think that'd be good. I think it's fine the way they've done him here, because we already have a couple like shrinking and growing people, and, and you know we have plenty of time to add more. We already know that stature is coming at some point. Um, that's another thing. I didn't think Cassie was all that bad in this movie. I thought she was decent. Um, uh, what else? Scott Lang was like kind of a cuck in just like the way that like he he was still like around his wife and stuff. Like he still talked to his wife like a wife, but then also had to hang out with with her husband, like her current husband. That's not him. I just thought that was like. Their whole relationship was kind of weird, and, like, he just seemed like kind of a, like a bitch boy, you know? Like, he just, I don't know, he, he lost some of his, some of his alphaness, I guess, that he had in the first one. A lot of references to Civil War and the greater MCU, I actually like that. There were a couple, there were a couple decent meta jokes that I feel like they could have been in, like, a, like a Guardians of the Galaxy or something. Or, or more like a Deadpool. Like, spoilers, the one thing with the, um, sunglasses and the hat... That was a that was could have definitely been a Deadpool joke. Um, overall, I guess that's my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, action was decent and and fun. Uh, the, the 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 villains, Walter Goggins guy, the big uh, Southern balding guy, was kind of boring, and he just seemed to kind of come out of nowhere. Like they just needed like a bad guy who had a bunch of goons for them to fight, um, and then like. Ghost was just okay. I don't know. I think I think it I think it works if she was like an enforcer of a larger bad guy, because she has like a cool power set, but she like isn't all that super interesting on her own. Oh shit. Um, 
yeah, all right, I guess that's it. Ant-Man and the Wasp. If I had to give it, like, a, a ranking, I, I'd say it's, like, maybe, like, a 5.5 out of 10 or something. See it if you want to. If it's not, if it didn't sound that interesting to you, you're not going to miss much anyway. Um, I mean, I hope a lot of people see this because I don't want any MCU movies to bomb. But this one was just not very good. All right, bye.